With the introduction of Enhanced Bill of Material Revisioning in Ship Constructor 2013, the problem of BOM changes slipping through production unnoticed has been solved. In the past, where a part was replaced with a different one in a production drawing, the part might have been placed at the same location in the BOM table, which would be very easy to miss when scanning the drawing with the eye, as it would have the same label number. Simply by adding a BOM revision column to your BOM definition, you can begin to realise the benefits immediately upon updating your production drawings. Once the column has been added, the first thing to do is create a base revision for a particular layout. A point to note is that each layout tab has its own revision history. Once a revision has been created, then any parts which are added, removed or have a modification that changes one of their BOM fields will have an asterisk prefixed after an update. This indicates that the part has changed since the first revision was created and that the next revision has not yet been defined. A real-world example of how BOM revisioning helps solve potential problems is shown in a set of changes to a pipe model drawing which reflects a move from fabricated pipes to purchased parts. The removals, additions and modifications are brought into the production drawing via the update drawing dialog. Notice that after updating the drawing, the BOM has been updated with the deleted parts struck through. The modified parts have an asterisk prefix and the added parts appended to the bottom of the BOM table. As long as a BOM table and revision exists in the layout, the numbering of the BOM and its labels will never change. It's important to note in this example that the location modification of the pipe support was not reflected in the BOM revision, as it did not cause a change in a row in the BOM. Revision management is per drawing, with only the current revision being accessible for deletion. It is possible to completely remove the BOM and its corresponding revisions as each set of revisions is tied to the existence of a BOM in a production drawing layout. The overarching idea to remember is that each combination of production drawing, layout and BOM makes for a revision. Ship Constructor 2013's Enhanced Bill of Material Revisioning represents just another way that Ship Constructor can utilise the intelligent information contained within every Ship Constructor project to increase efficiencies and decrease risk. For more information on this and other new features in Ship Constructor 2013, please visit us at www.shipconstructor.com.